So the single hander's second worst fear is falling overboard and then being dragged by the boat. Of course, the first worst fear is falling overboard and not being tied to the boat. Some folks say it's impossible to climb back in single handed. Well, it's not impossible. It's not easy, but it's not impossible. Here I'm going to show a series of techniques that can make it possible. Okay, so I'm going to do a self rescue demonstration. A lot of folks have asked the question if you fall off the boat and you're being dragged by the boat at, you know, five knots, can you actually get back aboard? single-handed by yourself. I've done it before in my Contessa 26. I'm going to do it here on my Contessa 38, which is higher freeboard. The, the trick of the matter really uh, is that I have pre-installed, when I'm single-handed offshore, I have rope ladders uh, dragging in the water for such an event, three per side, plus I climb up the wind vane and, height and uh, power generator apparatus as well. Um, I do have crew aboard in the event that I fail here and I've got a lot of I've got a lot of sea room. I've got about an hour of sea room here at five knots. Uh, it's a beautiful day. I'm doing this under power, under motor, um, mindful, have to stay away from the propeller. Um, which is true if you're single-handed and you go overboard under power as well. So we'll, uh, we'll give it a go. And uh, the key is I use this long tether, so I'm going to let myself out you know, quite a distance behind the boat to make it like a real test. And, uh, and then the other item that you're going to see is to get back to the boat got to flip onto your back, manhaul yourself forward on your back to get to the boat. Otherwise, your face creates a bow wave and you can't breathe. So I'm going to lower myself out, uh, flip over on my back, and then climb back into the boat using these, these ropes. So rule number one for single handing, of course, is don't fall off the boat. So that's rule number one. Now, you want to use jack lines, you want to clip short, you want to do all of those things. However, stuff does happen. So here we are, and I've gone over the side. I've not clipped short on purpose here um, to demonstrate that, okay, well, even if you're clipped long, it is possible to claw your way back and use one of these atriers to get aboard. So I've had to, you know, hand traverse across the rail. Now I've got my feet in the stirrups. These are called atriers or aiders. They are actually a piece of climbing gear used for big wall climbing, but they work really well here uh, to help me get back aboard the boat when you're being dragged. I lowered myself out over the side behind the boat. Had to manhandle back to the boat. The rear stirrup allowed me to get to the rail of the boat. And then to get away from the propeller, hand traverse forward to this forward rope ladder, and then step up using stirrups. And uh, I don't mind telling you, even in perfect conditions, you know that was uh, that was tough. Um, I don't mind telling you. difficult but it was doable. So that single-handed 
self-rescue and I've got speed uh, I think I'm bucking a bit of current but uh, I'm doing five knots over the ground um, probably five and a half through the water so you know, that's cruising speed if you fall off your boat on the high side it's going to be harder if you fall off on the low side and you're sailing it's going to be easier anyway I don't want to do that again don't mind telling you that was difficult and uh, boy I think uh, single handers should train in a climbing gym no, I am a rock climber. That was not a pushover. Um, I would also recommend, if you're unsure, trying it without the boat moving. Like get dialed in. You know, uh, I've got years of using those stirrups. So, anyways, respect the risk. Stay safe and have a good day. We'll see you next time.